When kayaking, you can use most of your energy to move water, or you can use most of your energy to move the kayak forward. If you want to paddle all day and not get tired, and you want to have the power to move fast when you need to fight a headwind or avoid getting sucked into the rough section of a tidal race, if you want to be paddling at the front with the leaders of the group and not at the back struggling to keep up, then you need to stop moving water. Right here in this video, you will learn what makes a paddle stroke a waste of energy. You will learn what you need to avoid doing so you can keep paddling all day without getting tired. There's two parts to an efficient forward stroke. The first part is how the paddle moves in the water, and the second part is how you move your body to use the stronger muscles and bring the most energy to the paddle. You need both parts if you want to have a powerful and efficient stroke. We will look at the first part in this video. It's actually pretty simple. You need to avoid moving water. It takes energy to move water, and that energy is not available to move the kayak forward. So how can you avoid moving water? Let's look at what we do when we want to move the most water. Then we can figure out how to avoid doing it. Most beginners will start paddling by using the paddle like a shovel. Maybe that's because most of us learn to shovel dirt or snow before we learn to paddle. For the best shoveling, you need to start moving the paddle slowly. That's because water has mass and if you try to take it from a still position and move it fast right away, it will be hard. Something to do with physics. Once it's moving, you can add to the momentum. So let's look at the main parts of good shoveling. Start moving the paddle slowly to get momentum going. Make sure the paddle pushes the same volume of water throughout the entire stroke. Imagine trying to shovel dirt while you're moving the shovel to the side. Add speed as the momentum builds and make it nice and long. Developing an efficient stroke is a lifelong pursuit, but you can get 9% of the way there instantly if you just learn to recognize when you're shoveling and just stop doing it. Pay attention to this one thing and your forward stroke will continue to improve as if you had a coach with you at all times helping you. You will waste less energy, go faster and paddle all day and enjoy the scenery instead of feeling tired. In the next video, you will learn a few techniques that you can easily apply right away to stop moving water and start moving the kayak forward with less effort. I'm going to ask you to sign up for this one. I want your email address so I can send you more videos that will help you develop an efficient stroke. If they are not helping you, just unsubscribe by clicking the unsubscribe link at the bottom of any email you get from me. If you thought this video was useful, you will get a lot of value from the next video. Sign up here or click the link in the description below to sign up. Thanks for watching.